Professional baseball is returning to Omaha after almost two years. 3 News Now reporter Alyssa Curtis joins us live at Warner Park to tell us what we can expect for Storm Chasers opening day. And Alyssa, it looks like you've got a pretty good seat there. <laughs> Hey Courtney, that's right. I'm over here at Warner Park right in front of the field and you're right. It's been a while since a game of baseball has been played here over 600 days, but tomorrow the Omaha Storm Chasers will finally take to the diamond for their season opener. Now the organization is so excited to invite fans back, but of course they want to do so in the safest way possible. All fans, any fan that comes in the gates, any age, uh, based on the Major League Baseball guidelines, uh, are to wear a mask at all times on premise, uh, unless they're actively eating or drinking. Um, and you know, you'll see hand sanitizer around the facility. Um, you will see for the first home stand a little bit more social distancing than you're probably used to in other venues in the state right now. Seating capacity for games will be limited for the first few home series. That'll open up as the season goes on. The stadium is also now cashless. Although there are some restrictions, the Storm Chasers are ready to take the field and be a place where the community can make memories once again. That's what we do. You know, we're in the memory making business and we're in the community relations business and we've been unable to do that since September of 2019 and it's time. It's time to get rolling again and you know, there's nothing there's nothing like opening day in in baseball and uh, we're excited we're excited to have our opening day. While they're ready to play in front of fans, the extra time off proved to have its difficulties for the players. The, their bodies weren't ready to get going full speed again, you know, so it's taken some time. I, When we left spring training, the minor league double A through A club showed up, and I think because of the lack of playing last year, there was kind of more injuries uh, during spring training. The organization's hoping that for the fans, the missed season has made them even more excited. They were anticipating some some level of baseball last year, uh, some amount of baseball last year. It obviously didn't happen. So, you know, they're probably more eager than we are. I mean, that's what, you know, season ticket holders in baseball, that's what they do. They're, they're committed. There's about 400 tickets left for tomorrow's game, which starts at 630 and they're going to be playing the St. Paul Saints reporting at Warner Park. Alyssa Curtis, 3 News Now. Yeah, I know a lot of baseball fans are yeah. excited to see that come back. I mean, last summer they did some fireworks, which was mm -hmm. nice, but it'll be great to have people back in the stands. Yeah, and I think the weather will work out Good. and be on the cool side. 60s and 50s, but sunny, mm -hmm. so that's nice. Yeah, maybe have some hot dogs and hot cocoa or there something. You go.